Well, good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you. We're on Lake Monticello, and we got our first perch of the day. We are perch fishing right now, and we're going to see how many we can catch of these. We're using uh, two Bobby Garlands right now. I mean, excuse me, two uh, Charlie Brewers right now. And uh, we're going to see how they'll hit them, and then we'll, we'll change around to different stuff. Glad you could be with me on another episode of Loving Life with the Old Fisherman. It's bright sunshine. It's going to get really hot today. And uh, we're going to try to catch a few before it gets hot. <laughs> They've been biting pretty good. So we're going to see what we can do. Caught one on the first draw, but I ain't, hey, I got a nothing. So they're biting. Got two straight. Nice perch right there. That's a big one. We got a uh, two and an eighth inch swimming minnow on the bottom, blue and chartreuse on a, actually a too small a head. I like to use eighth ounce heads when I'm using these uh, uh, Charlie Brewers with this particular rod only had a, uh, uh, a 16th head, but it's working. Let's drop it back down, see what happens. I'm not seeing a lot of them stir up off the bottom, but you see right in here, you see a couple right on the bottom. They ain't stirring up yet, see it's early. As the sun gets up, they'll stir up better. And when they stir up, that's when we can't really tear them up. We're using a 10 foot crappy pro rod with a runcho reel right now. And uh, hey, we get one every time we go to reel it up. Now that's a good one. We're using a long rod. I like to use the long rod and I like to use the uh, um, panfish by, by uh, uh oh, one got off. We had two on there, one pulled off. I like to use the panfish rod also by St. Croix and it's a five foot uh, nine inch. That, that's a little small right there. I like the bigger ones. The bigger fish, I'm trying to, I'm gonna get some fillet fish today. Hopefully I can catch some big enough to fillet. We on a hump, you know, basically. The hump comes up about 28 foot and, and we fishing all around it. It's, the water's down today. So, but it's fish out here. There's no doubt they're hanging around this hump. And we're gonna try to catch a couple. What we're gonna do. They're running up to get it, but that time I didn't get one. Yep, still running up at it. They didn't take it. They start to stir up a little bit. You'll see them now. There's a pile of them in there. There's a pile of them in there. They're getting a little immune to me, though they ain't taking it. We might have to, there you go. No, he hit it, but he didn't take it. They're running up at it and not taking it. Now, that's not a good sign. As you catch a couple, a lot of times, that's what they do when they're not feeding. They there. Let's put a little angle on it, see if that'll make them bite it. We might change change already. Hey, he hit it. Didn't take it. Hey, hit it again. They ain't want it. They don't want them colors. <clears throat> the wind's supposed to get up pretty hard out in the south today. And that'll definitely probably turn them on. Might have to go to the gup alive, something with a little scent on it to catch them better. Never know these fish. They ain't taking it though. Now, and they popped it the first couple of times. Change colors is what we're gonna do. Might have changed up Bobby Garland. See, hitting it, but they ain't taking it. That's uh Put something else on the. Let's put a Bobby Golden on there and see what happens. <clears throat> mm. 
You never know. If they bite on mayfly lavas, a lot of times I got this old creature gear they like. We'll put it on there and see if we can catch one on it. See if they'll bite that. Give them something different to look at. It gets hot, the cameras won't work. I fight that all the time. They'll work a little bit and then they'll quit. See you? See that? Change colors, one nailed it. That's the way it works. We got two, I believe. I know we got one. Oh, we got two. We got two slabs. Look at that. Huh? Hey, you got to change to make it work. Y'all see it? The creature did got one, too. Whoop, come off. Throw it back out. To the bottom. What a big girl. Uh, them there's a little size smaller than what I've been catching. Hope you get on them big ones. They feel good on this rod, though. Well, you got braid on the main line. Uh, this is, I, I think, a little bit bigger braid than what I normally fish with. I think it's like 12 pound braid, Power Pro. Oh, I see them down there right on the bottom. Ain't taking it now. Yeah, something. They're running up after that, yeah. Way up before we come up and got it. Way up. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Calm down here, yeah, boy. That's the kind we're looking for right there, folks. Bobby Garland. Got him. Let's check this creature, G. It ain't looking real good. It's like a little worm. Uh, Charlie Brewer makes these. We ain't got it on there right. That's what's wrong. See if they'll take it like that. I feel the breeze stirring. There's fish all over that bottom. You can barely see them. When they don't stir up, it takes a good fish finder to see them babies laying on the bottom. Mm, missed him. He hit it. Tap the boat. They down there. There you go. Oh, missed him again. Now they're hitting and missing again. Still ain't got the right plug on the. I'll tell you. You got to get the right plug. I ain't taking it now. Yeah, some. And they there too. I used to catch a lot of bass like this, but I ain't caught no bass lately. Maybe the day to be the day we catch it. That a bass. That's a nice one. Got him on the old creature jig. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Calm down.
That jig ain't looking the best. All right, let's try it again. I didn't fish for perch all winter. I believe that helped. And I ain't been doing videos, so there ain't so many people out there catching all of them. That's why I really hate doing videos on perch. They root me out of my places. Fish get where they don't want to bite. Cramp is a little bit more difficult to catch. They there, we just ain't catching. I think we need to go to something with some scent. That's what I think. They done quit biting, man. We need to go to a couple lives. What we need to do, get a scent on it, they'll take it. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Got a nut. That's a good one. That's a big one. That is a whopper. I like them that size. We like them that size, folks. I got 10 pound test leader between my jigs in case on this one. Now I got that small rod, they only six. They'll break that six, especially if you get two big old slab perch or either a bass on the 10, unless you start catching a lot of big bass or something, or rockfish, you need to go to 12. 12 is about as big as you can stand. They won't bite it if they, the other sizes, the bigger sizes, they won't bite it. They're looking at it, but they ain't taking it. They really don't want it. I think we need to put some scented jigs out there. They ain't taking it now like they ought to be. I might have to go to that wax worm, or that little wax worm they call it, or sand worm. Sand worm. Hey, he missed it. I'm not taking it. There's one. Finally got one to take it. I don't act like they want it. I ain't, that ain't no, that's catfish, I believe. I don't know. Whatever it is, must be two. A catfish and a perch. See, they, the catfish hit it because why? It's that worm's got the scent on it. That's why that catfish hit that. And the purge hit the little tiny gup alive one inch. Ouch, Mena. The good one though. You see him. Alright. Well we got slime all on us now. Gotta wipe off. Let's drop it back down, see if we get another. That slime all over the line, that probably ain't good. I might fish for catfish some um, with shrimp. We get enough perch. I don't want to clean about a bucket full of them things. That's what I've been catching about a bucket full. There you go. They, they all over the bottom. There's no doubt. They bumping it, but they ain't wanting it. Uh, they not they not taking this. Thank you. Uh, they looking at it. They don't want this. See, you got to move it fast for them to take it. They don't want it just sitting there. They want it moving fast. That goes two. 
They want it moving fast, folks. Them jokers know they feel good on this doggone crappy pro rod. The thing's good for everything. Look at that. Look at that. Two at a time. Huh? What? Two at a time. We experimenting on different plugs. That that weren't hit the worm, caught him on the outside of the face. You see him? Caught him on the outside of the face. And the other one took my gup alive mud off. Ain't that something? Gone. I'll tell you what, just for the heck of it, let's put a uh, a gup alive, a bigger gup alive on see, the middle. See what happens. See if they'll bite it better. We got to rehook this worm. All right, let's see. Let's get our little packages out. We got a few here. I'm just playing around experimenting today, folks. That's the way I learn. The problem with these gup alive mills is that every one of them are crooked. I mean, just about it. Every one of them. What it is, they done dried out. They ain't hard like, I mean, they ain't soft like they were. Which you like it like that, but the problem is, <sighs> they all bent up. Get back up here. Another wonderful day to be alive. I thank God each and every day to let me stay on this earth. And, Keep doing what I do. And I miss Miss Deborah so much. I cannot get over her. She's gone. It's like I'm going to wake up from this dream I'm in and, and she'll be here, but she's not here. It don't seem possible that this has happened to me. Just don't. I don't know of anything worse. Death would have been a lot easier. This is agonizing pain that don't go away. I love that woman. I still do. Well, this don't look like the key. I see them down there. They ain't taking it. We might have to get up. There, there he goes. There you go. Let's see. Uh oh, we got off. Got another, though. We had two. One got off. And one we caught a little. I mean, a little. A throwbacker. Took the doggone uh, worm off of that. You rascal, you. That thing that's crooked, that ain't no good. Well, I don't really know what to put on here. Let's, uh, let's see if they'll hit this pink looking jig here, Charlie Brewer. See if they'll take it. All right, put it back there. Swimming metal. I hadn't really beat the boat yet. Sometimes that wheel stir them up. You see pockets of shad all down in there on the left side, right under my boat. After I started beating, you see this fish stir up. Now they ought to bite, them they ought to bite. There you go, missed him. There you go, got him again. That's a good one. They want something swimming. It's that simple. They want it swimming. That swimming metal gets them at Charlie Brewer. Look at that, two at a time. And I mean good ones too, buddy. Two at a time. I think the two and eight, uh, two and eight inch swimming metal is probably the best way to go. Or, and I ain't got no three inch uh, Charlie Brewer's out. I'm gonna have to dig, find them. But I think that, that swimming money might be the the key, the bigger plug is what I'm saying. I noticed when I cleaned them, they had big chad in them. 
So the bigger plug might be the answer to our question about what they want. Let's throw it back out there and see if we can get them nothing. Man, I love catching them on this rod. You see them right there. See them all in there? I don't have it on down. I ain't changed my my setting on my transducer. You can set it where it be down. It might look different. I hadn't tried that yet, but I, I, I know what I'm looking at with this, so ain't really no need to mess with nothing. I never have tried that straight down look. Might be what we need. Don't know. All right, let's see if we get a nut. Nope. It's like when you change plugs, you catch one or two, they get used to it. You got to change back to something else. We done got a little deep. That's what we done done. Yeah, we ain't got too deep. Get back up here. They didn't bite at all that time. They there. They really ain't biting. We catching some, but they ain't eating it up. And they're there too. They didn't even run after it that time. That is not good. What if I could put worms on it? They'd bite it sitting right down to me. I don't want to mess with worms though. Tell you, missed him. Is again. You go to jerking that thing up, he takes it. Oh Lord, there he goes. Huh? Them jokers know they pull. They pull like a pound and a half crap. Especially when you get two of them on them. Like this. Look at that. Hey, die. I mean. Look at that. Slaboose. 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 <laughs> they down there. You see them right in there? Whole school of them right under. It's my boat's right there. This is out in front of the boat. We sitting right on top of these fish. Well, I ought to kill it when I go to move it, but I ain't no guarantee. See? There you hit way up. Sometimes they won't take it when they can see it good. You got to run after it to get it. They like to run after it. They can't think about it when they get chasing it like that. There he goes. There he goes. That's a good one. That is a good one. Look at that, what a perch. Good Trace. Oh, come back here, boy. That's a pound perch right there, folks. That's a good one. I mean, that's a good one. A good one. I don't see them. They left. There he is. Finally one come up and took it. He didn't want to. Nice one too. Good one. Oh. Nice one. Hey, they don't seem to like that Z-Man as good as Charlie Brewers. I don't know what it is. You'd think they'd eat it up. It looks so pretty. They still die. Uh... 
They just don't want it. They all down in there. They run up that, ain't take it. They want to hit it when it's up. Uh, they ain't really wanting this either. They there. They ain't wanting it. <clears throat> I've seen him coming all the way up. Hit that thing way up high. Funny how they'll do that. They don't want that dog on the they don't want that uh, Z-Man. I don't want it. They're all down in the... Good God. Ain't taking it though. They they just ain't hit. We got change. We got change. We gotta find out what they want to bite. You'd think something with a sin on it would do it. But so far that ain't that didn't work. You know Charlie Brewer's back. I mean Bobby Golden's back on the There's something that they'll bite. I guarantee you on that. <laughs> They're hitting it, but they ain't taking it. And that is a bad sign. That's a sign that they don't want it. We got change. Go back to Charlie Brewer. I mean, uh, Bobby Gawler. They don't want this thing here. Folks, we finally got us a perch. Took a while. We went to another place and I threw out and caught one. Believe it or not, on the Gup Alive Miller. Little one inch. Maybe they'll be in here. I don't know. We're going to find out. It wasn't at the other place where I've been catching them. I uh, caught a few and then they left. We're going to get shallow here though. We caught that in pretty shallow. Probably won't catch another. That was probably a mistake, an uh, accident. I see a few down on the bottom though. Get them to bite. There he goes. They up his shower. I don't know how big they are. There goes a nothing. Oh my, there goes a nothing. Look at that. One nice one out the bunch. back out and get them done. They sent them down there. And you see them right on the bottom. They all over that bottom out there. We got to get this, this rig here out of here. Out of the way. Bumping it. There he is. Got him. Oh my. Got him. Oh, we got off. I broke off. We got had two. One of them got off. I hope he didn't break. Well, he did. He broke. Dad, blame it. He broke. Now, we got to turn that jig on right quick. That's a heck of a note. The fish is still there, too, I believe. We never get back out there. 
I believe we can catch one. They're waiting for me. 35 foot of water. Hey, he missed it. Got him again. They're waiting for me. We're gonna kill them right here. We're gonna kill them big ones too. Look at that what perch. Big old perch. I'm talking big old perch. Got him on a Bobby Gall. Get back out, get another. Definitely a bunch of them in here. No doubt. There he is. Got him. Oh man, they 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 swarming down there, folks. They swarming. We're gonna catch the mother load right here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, we had that little spurt early this morning. Didn't catch nothing for a while, but we on them again, folks. We on them again. Drop it to the bottom with a big purchase lap. I thought my camera was going, but it wasn't. You done got hot. Here it come. Oop, got him. Uh-oh, missed him. Got him again. Got him again. Oh, Lord, there he goes. Gone, gone, <clears throat> gone, that's a big one. That might be a bass. I believe that might be a bass right there. I went and got my six pound test on the thing. I don't know what I got. I ain't no, I don't believe that's no perch. That's gotta be a bass. That's gotta be a bass. There's a bass area right here. That, oh, it's a bass and a perch. <clears throat> what it is, a bass and a perch. Hey, day, we got the bass and we got the perch. Look at that, huh? Y'all notice we got some new net. They ain't got as long as handle as the other one, but hey, we got a new net. That darn bass hit that gup alive miller. Look at that. This is like a little crab net. It works. Throw it back out. Do we get a nut? Got it going on. There's a school of them under, so I can tell you that much. Mm -hmm. Big, uh oh, there goes the camera. Big school of them. Gonna knock the camera off again. This thing got hot. Camera thing got hot. This one's still working. See if we can catch nothing right quick. Hey, got him. I mean, got him. They killing it in the heat of the day. Killing it. Slick, calm condition. And we catching. The devil out of them. Look at him. We ain't got but one. I don't know how. Because that's like a really pull. I thought I had something big. Golly. We got this one tied in knots. Now this is going to hurt us. If we don't get out quick, it's going to hurt us. All right, folks. Move down a little bit and I see a few fish. I don't know if we can catch them or not. Might not bite. I see if we can call them up. Right this fish. Right this school of fish. 
right here in front of the boat on what size they are, but school fit. Right there. Few. There's a couple in there. I don't know if they'll bite or not. They're looking at it. They're chasing it up, but they ain't taking it. They don't like what to see. I believe there's more fish coming back in. Oh, yeah, that's perch. We get them to bite. There you go. Oh. There you go. There you go. I'll stir them up. Maybe I'll stir them up. Maybe that'll stir them up. Get it back down before they leave. There you go. There you go. Got him. Oh my, got him. We ain't got nothing but chest camera going now. All the other cameras died on me. They died. I cannot get this little gup alive minnow to stay straight, save my butt. Oh, Lord, I don't see them now. There's a few right there. I'm dropping it right on them, too. Right on them. Here they come. Here he goes. Two of them. We got two of them. Them jokers know they can pull. I can tell you that much. They can pull, buddy. Calm down, boy. You took my darn gut alive, man. What are you doing? Tell me, uh, gum it. Guys, what? I hate I ain't got my stuff going, but I'm putting that gift of live metal on. What they want? That joke is crooked. They'll probably want him to bite it. <clears throat> I can't stand a crooked one. See if he'll take it. Yeah, he nailed it. He's looking for something to bite, but. He's looking for something to bite. And definitely two at a time. I'm talking about two at a time. What? Try to back down. I 
I see him right on the bottom. Here he come. There he goes. Till on it. Got him. Got him. Nice and too. Got him. He got but one though. But he's a good one. He is a whopper. A gub alive mother. They're killing that thing. They're killing that gub alive. Killing it. They're all down there. 35 foot. They see it coming. There he goes. Got him. Got him. Got two. Got two. Oh my, got two. Hey, Jay. What? Look at that. We got, how we got two big ones. I mean two big ones. I couldn't hardly get that in the boat, he's so big. Good gosh. We're killing it now. Look at him. Look at him, what a perk. That's the biggest one I caught today. Look at that. Look at that, what a perk. Took my gup alive and I'm gone with it. There's nothing. I'll tell you that much. Might as well order some more of these babies. They're hitting these things. They hitting these things. <clears throat> See, we got nothing on them. They still there. The mother load is down there, but the mother load. We own the mother load. There he goes. He gets down there once gone with it. Now here. Yeah. I mean gone with it. Big one too, buddy. Two, two big ones. Great day. And laying it to it. Drop it back down. Are you still there? They are still there. We kill them. Big ones too. There they come. There he goes. Got him. Got him. Got one in there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at, uh oh, broke off. Broke off. <coughs> that six pound test just can't stand all that activity. We got time. We got time. Right, we got time. Let's get it back down. I'm sure they're gone now. We're gonna drift it 100 yards off. 10 foot deep in what we was. Get back up there. Got 
Stay up here on this point, on the side of this point with it. This camera is burning hot. We ain't got off fish now. So we get them back under the Got off of them. I don't see them. Hey. hey. Man, that beating the boat works, son. Huh? It puts them right out under you. I mean, it does. I mean, they come to that beating of the boat big time. Look at how they're going. Beats anything I've ever seen. Beats anything i ever seen. Two big old slabs, buddy. I'm talking big ones. I'm talking about the kind you read about in Perch Magazine. My goodness, what perch. Big ones. They're hitting the Bobby Garland. Look at, this fish. Look at that fish right there. That is a monster perch. They go up alive. It's killing them. I got them on a hook. Got it on a hook with the collar cut off of it. Where I can slide that thing all the way up. Look at them on that. You can't see them. I ain't got one camera going. I, I'm sorry. I can't. I ain't got time to do anything else. The rest of them hot, stopped. I don't know what's wrong with them. I doubt we didn't even get it come back on. Nope, she did. We just got to work with what we got right now, and that's one. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, man, they're coming all the way to the top to get it. I don't know how in the world I met. Oh, he pulled it off. He messed it up. Dropped it back down. Oh, they down there. They down there big time. These are some fine ones in here. They didn't take it though. They all amongst it. They're scattering all around it. And now they ain't chasing it. That is not good. They was chasing it. They ain't chasing now. They chased it. They like it running fast. You go to jerk it and miss, and they run up and get it then. Look at them. Big old perch. Big old monster perch. Okay, day. Look at that. I don't know if they'll take that thing or not. It's about messed up. They don't know to take it, though. Mm. Got him. Got him. They 
killing it. Look at that, what a perch. My gosh. These are filet monsters. Don't break, don't break. They ain't hitting that top yet. They're hitting the gut alive, and that's what they're hitting. That's all they're hitting. There he is. Got him. Got him. He ain't get but one at a time now. And there's plenty of them now. Now, I don't think it's but one on there. Nope. Oh, he got off. Dad, blame it. Shoot. That was a big one, too. They ain't hit it. There's a bite. There's a bite. There is a bite. Nice one, dude. Come here, boy. There you go. Come up and get it. A little one. He ain't that bad. He ain't that bad. He's a keeper. There he goes. Two more, I think. Yep. Two more.